Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about Cambridge Institute of Technology in Bangalore. It's called CIT Bangalore and Cambridge Institute of Technology CIT is part of Cambridge Group of Institutions and it is affiliated with VTU Belagavi. And in terms of accreditation, it is a NAC A plus accredited, uh, which is quite good. And and they have basically two campuses. One is called CIT Main Campus in Kerpuram. The second one is CIT North Campus. So you can see the address here. And this is the picture of the main campus, CIT main campus in KR Puram and the, this is the one in North North campus. Main campus is one which is in KR Puram, Krishna Raj Puram and that one is 16 acres campus overlooking the uh, Old Madras Road. So it's on the Old Madras Road and uh, quite decent option for students which take admission through both KCET, Comet K uh, as well as the management quotas in a way. So this is the college address. In the main campus, there are multiple courses available for UG program. So you have computer science engineering, artificial intelligence, and machine learning, information science engineering. So basically three computers uh, on computer specialization branches. And then you have ECE, and also you have triple E, electrical E, and then mechanical and the civil engineering. So this is from the undergraduate part of it. Or the BTEC programs. Think about the second campus, which is also called the CIT North Campus, and there they have only three undergraduate courses, BTEC courses for computer science engineering, electronics and communication engineering, and mechanical engineering. But your but your choice should be first choice should be the Kerpuram campus, and this is the second choice in case you wanted to take. This is the placement uh, details for BTEC program, and this is the NIRF data which got out just two months back. So if you can see, it will show three years data right in placement data so in 20 passing batch total number of students eligible were 566 and out of 566 students 492 students were placed so close to 500 students were placed and uh, the median salary was 5.1 lakhs 5 lakh 10 thousand and 28 stud students went for the higher studies in the next year which is the 21 passing batch the number of students eligible were 627 and the number of students who got placed were 522. So again above 500 and median salary increased to 5.25 lakhs and the number of students who went for higher studies 30. And if you see the latest placement which is 22 passing batch. So 646 students were eligible and out of which uh, 597 that is close to 600 students got placed and uh, 6 lakh 1000 uh, 6 lakh 1000 is the median salary and then which is they have given to the nrf data so this is based on the publishing data given to aict and now i am going to talk about the branch wise placement so first branch is btech in computer science engineering which i am going to talk so this is some of the infrastructure pictures of the their btech in department which is quite decent in terms of placements also so if you talk about the placement statistics you can see here the type of companies which are uh, visiting here so you have you know uh, good companies which are like capgemini ibm infosys tech mahindra tcs just pay harman and these are some of the best companies which are coming for uh, csc department and if you see the uh, salary trend this is the highest salary so in 2020 the highest salary was around 22 lakhs and then in 2022 it was 27 lakhs and then this year 2023 it is like 20.5 lakhs now moving to the next department which is the information science engineering department so information science also engineering also similar companies like computer science engineering visit like hp infosys uh, tcs wipro ibm capgemini and the toshiba and same set of companies approximately which comes for computer science engineering and now if you talk about the salary trends in the information science engineering department so if you can see here in 2021 the highest salary was even 36 lakhs so that was a big jump and the best salary that year 36 lakhs was the highest salary till date in this college and but in 2022 it was 9 lakhs and in 2023 again it is 26 lakhs so salary is dependent on students who will be able to crack the interview but 36 and 26 lakhs are the highest salaries in this ISC department now moving to the third branch which is electronics and communication engineering ec engineering so this is one of the picture of the ec department and not talking about the salary trends in ec department it is also showing an excellent placement trend so if you see in 2020 the placement the highest salary was just 6.38 lakhs and then it increased to 10 lakhs in 2021 but last year it is 2022 the highest salary was 17 lakhs so that itself is showing quite decent improvement in uh, ec placements also an ec also you can take in this college now the next branch i'm talking is about electrical and electronics engineering which is 
triple e branch right so again the good companies which are visiting in this branch are like abb which is an electrical electronics you know big brand company and bosch which is also a very excellent company for e triple e students honeywell which is into automation and then it services companies like accenture also take students from triple e branch not talking about the salary trend in triple e branch so if you see the highest salary in 2020 was 4.25 and then last year which is 22 it was 7.8 lakhs and then this year it is 8 lakhs so up to under 10 lakhs but up to 8 lakhs salary you can expect in this triple e branch now the next branch is like mechanical engineering as a btech subject then for mechanical engineering the decent type of companies which are visiting here like tvs yes. and then the same bosch which are taking electronics and electrical student also feather light method scalar and few of these companies not talking about the salary trend so if you can see last 5 6 year data like in 2020 the highest salary for mechanical was just 4.2 and then it 21 it increased to 8 lakhs which was good and next year also it is around 10 lakh in 2022 and this year which is in 2023 you can see the highest salary of mechanical is 12 lakhs so this is also decent option in case student wants to study mechanical itself and the last branch i am going to talk is about the civil engineering trends so civil engineering the major companies which are visiting here are scc uh, lnt and tata group and some of these but the salary in this companies will be quite low and if you talk about the salary trends in csc like it was just 3 lakhs in 2021 which was the highest salary then it increased to 3.5 and last this year the highest salary is 4.5 lakh so i'll suggest not to take you know civil in this college so that's all a short update and thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar uh, updates on all colleges in karnataka take care and bye